afternoon everybody welcome to Michelle's garden hope everybody's doing good today all of my new subscribers welcome to my channel we're going to be water bath canning some dried beans today I use a lot of dried beans during the winter months and making stews and soups and um, so I picked out some beans that I'm going to do today and show you these beans right quick I paid a dollar ninety nine a bag for these beans. We've got some black eyed peas because Jeff likes to eat black eyed peas. But I use black beans, pinto beans, and red beans. And I make this, uh, it's sort of like a chili. It's called Seven Can Soup. Um, we'll have to make a video on that. But I'm going to can these beans today. And I did some checking on, like I opened that one bag of red beans because I wanted to see exactly how many jars, pint jars of beans I could get out of one bag. You can get five pint jars out of one bag. So that's like five cans of beans at the grocery store. is going to cost you about maybe $1.19, $1.20, sometimes $1.29, just depends on the brand you're buying, for one can. And I spent two dollars. I think it was either a dollar ninety-nine or two oh nine. I can't remember exactly, but say somewhere around two dollars for one bag, and I'm going to get five pint jars of canned beans out of that. So I thought that was pretty cool. Right now, I'm waiting for my canner to warm up or heat up. We are water bath canning these. Um, I want to show you. My box of jars because I was taking the plastic off of this box of jars and I just happened to look at the bottom of the box this is something I have never noticed before so I wanted to share this with you if you're new to canning or if there's something you want to to learn about water bath canning there's a little bit on the bottom of these box boxes so right here is the pint jar box in the case of jars I got and right here is the bottom of a box now it tells you the top is water bath canning and the bottom one here is pressure canning and it has tomatoes pickles salsa jelly pie filling jam fruit and chutney and it gives you how you should uh, do the process uh, the process of water bath canning um, down here is a chart for your latitude for water bath canning and it also does the same for the pressure canning. Now the pressure canning is green beans, carrots, beets, meat, fish, and poultry. Now some people will tell you you cannot water bath any of that stuff. I'm here to tell you yes you can. And I think we'll do some of that in some other videos but right now we're going to do dry beans um, I went out to the garden yesterday and I cleaned up a little bit because we're getting ready to get some really cold weather some close to freezing temperatures for probably like three days in a row um, so I've got three rows of cabbage and two rows of broccoli two raised beds of cauliflower um, two rows of English peas. I got three beds of beets. I've got two rows of collards and a row of mustard greens and one raised beds of carrot seeds that I just put in the ground. And I still yet have to plant my onions, but that's everything I've got in the ground for a fall garden. And I'm probably going to go up here in a little while and put down some row cover over some of that stuff for tonight. So as soon as this canner gets a little bit warmer here, I'll show you how I'm going to put these beans in the jars and get them in the canner, and we'll talk more about how long they're going to process. Okay, we're going to get ready to put these beans into the jars. I've got my red beans here. I poured these out and inspected them really well, make sure there's no rocks in them. Um, I'm going to do two pint jars of the red kidney beans, two jars of the black beans, 
two of the pinto beans and one of the black eyed peas. So when I was opening these bags up, I spilled the beans. <laughs> Actually really did, I spilled the beans. Okay guys, so we're going to start out with, I think I'll put the beans in first. So we will do a half a cup. I have to use maybe another spoon to get these in here. Half a cup. Now I really should probably use my um, funnel for this. You would think I would come more prepared. Okay. Now we're going to get another one. You know, I said earlier in my video that this was very economical as far as, um, you know, how much it costs for five cans of beans versus doing this. I guess your first year, if you don't already have uh, jars and lids, it probably would not be economical, but it would pay off in the next year because you would have jars to be able to either can beans again or can something else that you have in mind. Um, for me, I already had the jars and back in the summertime, um, might have been last year when I was canning. You could find the jars, but you couldn't find the lids. Then for a while, you could find the lids and couldn't find the jars. Now, if you go out to Walmart, you will see them sitting in the aisles. The pint jars, the quart jars, all different sizes. So it's kind of amazing how there's been a turnaround for that. Um, and I've used quite a bit. I think I'm going to go out and try to get me a couple more um, cases of uh, pint jars. Um, I don't know what the cost is for the, the jars everywhere, but um, I think a going price for them has been about $11.99. One more jar. You know, it'd be really great to have uh, beans from your garden to do this, but I don't have that. I'd really like to try to grow um, some of this stuff myself. I think that would be really awesome. It's like a, a satisfaction you get to of growing your own food, being able to can it, and put it on the table. It's just awesome. Okay, so we've got our beans in here, and now we're going to put a half of a teaspoon of canning salt to each one. so it's not boiling now, but get our hot water, and we're going to fill it to right at the rim here. Show you guys that up close right here in a minute. Right at the bottom of the rim there. Let's see if you can see that. So you want to fill it tonight. Good about there. Okay. So 
Let's get the rest of these filled. After I fill these, get them in the canner. I'm probably going to walk outside and check the garden today because we had a ton of rain last night. And it always seems like when I get outside and do some work in the garden, get everything cleaned up, get my aisles cleaned up because I'm, I'm OCD in the garden. And uh, it always seems like we either have a windstorm or a ton of rain and I'll go up there and my garden will be a mess. I actually, um, I actually keep a broom in my garden. <laughs> I sweep my rows, but I've got the um, the weed barrier down, the black um, plastic weed barrier down. So if you're new to my channel and you're wondering why, how am I sweeping rows? I've got weed barrier down, and I'm just able to do that. Okay, we are almost done. I didn't think I was going to use this much water, but I'm glad I put that much in the pot. I think I might try to do two batches of these beans today. Hopefully. Um, this is the first time that I have canned dried beans before. Um, I did see this on another channel called Make It Make. Um, I never really gave any thought to canning dried beans. But when I started thinking about the price and how much I spend on beans during the year, making chilies and soups and stuff, I thought, well, maybe that would be a good idea. I'm going to give that a try. Plus, you know, I like having my pantry stocked. Keeping everything stocked. I guess we all learned a, a great deal from what we went through in 2020. I think everybody is working on trying to keep their pantry stocked. Almost done. That's all of that. The next thing we will do is I'm going to take my little debubbler here and I'm just going to go around these beans a little bit. Stir them around a little bit. It's a beautiful color already. They're looking wonderful. guys the next step is to take some white distilled vinegar and go around the tops of your jars cleaning the lids really or the rims I'm sorry the rims clear of any debris food that'll give you a, a good seal I sterilize my jars in the dishwasher and my lids. Um, you can wash them in warm soapy water. So I have my lids here. I'm going to put them on finger tight. I'm using my cell phone today and my cell phone will probably give you the illusion that I'm turning my lids the opposite way counterclockwise but I'm not I'm turning them clockwise and um, I had somebody tell me that in a comment one time and I, I would have never known if someone hadn't told me all 
All right, we're going to get these in the canner. I'm turn you guys around here. I think you can see the canner there. Get the lid off of here. We're not quite out of boil yet. I think I can fit seven jars in my canner. We're going to put the oddball in the middle of the black eye piece. See, that's how OCD I am, too. You guys would laugh if you knew how OCD I am. I have to move my eggs around in the egg carton to make sure that the eggs are distributing the weight properly. <laughs> that's crazy, isn't it? This one's not going to sit up. Okay. All right, now I'm going to drop these down in the camera. Slowly but shortly. show you what that looks like. Okay guys, there they are in the canner. You can see they're starting to boil. I'm going to put the lid on that. Put the lid on here. Okay. Now I'm going to wait a few minutes until that comes up to a rolling boil. And when that comes up to a rolling boil, you let those boil for three hours. I know that sounds like a really long time, but you let them boil for three hours. And then when they're done boiling, turn the canner off and wait five minutes. Then lift your jars up out of the water and sit them on the counter for 28 to 48 hours and you'll have beans. Okay guys, we'll come back in a little while and I'll show you the finished product. Right now I'm going to walk out to the garden. So this is the beans after canning for three hours. This is the black eyed peas. This is the pinto beans. Um, these split a little bit, but they still turned out fine. This is the red kidney beans. And this is the black beans. Um, I'm very happy with how these turned out. They all did really well. They all sealed. Um, they've all been sitting 24 hours. I think in, um, I said something like 28 to 48 hours, but it's 24 to 48 hours to let them sit. And then you can put them away. So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I hope you'll get out there and can you some beans. See you guys next time.